The Brocade 8000 uh, switch is a fiber channel over Ethernet server I.O. consolidation switch. That means it, it, is, uh, it is a solution that provides Ethernet connectivity as well as storage connectivity. So it's a one new form factor with 32-bit ports. 24 of them are 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, ports and the eight other ports are 8 gigabit fiber channel. The Ethernet ports are CEE compliant ports. Certainly, when, when a customer looks for a solution, I think the first thing they should consider is are they buying a simple solution or are they buying complexity with the devices they're buying. On, on, in this uh, regard, the Brocade 8000 is a very straightforward, simple solution. It comes with one new form factor, that's one rack height. It has 32 fixed ports, that 24 uh, Ethernet and 8 fiber channel. It has one operating, fabric operating system and one management application that manages both sides of the, the device. On the other hand, if you look at the competing uh, Cisco 5020 solution, you will see that it comes in 2U, 2U height, that's double the uh, uh, Brocade 8000. It also requires an additional device, the, the Cisco NDS, to connect to storage. That makes it 3U height plus additional costs. Then you end up with two boxes, two operating systems, two management tools, and additional complexity that may result from introducing the MDS into the storage environment that may result in, in disruption of your operating day-to-day uh, -day operation. When looking at the features of uh, both solutions, one would notice that on the Brocade 8000, the fiber channel side is far more superior than it is on the Cisco 5020. But let's start with the Ethernet side. On the Ethernet side, Brocade 8000 offers 24 ports that are running at 10 gigabits per second. These are CE ports that are compliant, 100% compliant with the IEEE standards for, uh, uh, for CE. Cisco also provides uh, 40 ports of CE that they also claim to be uh, IEEE compliant. On the fiber channel side, there is really no contest between the feature set and the bandwidth that we offer as opposed to what the 5020 offers. The Brocade 8000 offers eight fiber channel ports running at eight gigabits per second each. That offers a bandwidth that people or customers need for their uh, high demanding applications. On the other hand, on the 5020, you only have four gigabits per second fiber channel. Yes, you do have options between four, eight, or 16 ports, but you're limited to the bandwidth that is four gigs. So on a good day, if the 5020 is working at its maximum theoretical speed, it remains at half the speed that uh, Brocade 8000 offers. One important feature of any product that is uh, deployed today in data centers is their power consumption because all customers are trying to uh, green their data centers, reduce the power consumption, reduce the ongoing uh, operating costs resulting from uh, power consumption and heat dissipation and cooling costs. So, the, the Brocade 8000 shines in that area because it is rated for a maximum of 350 watts. Compare that to the rating of the 5020, which is 750 watts, that's more than twice. Uh, although Cisco mentions that their operating uh, power consumption is about 480, nonetheless it remains so high. The, the power consumption is important because it also impacts the reliability of the product uh, because of the heat dissipation. It is, we suggest that people uh, try this test, pull out one of the fan assemblies in the back and count a time how long will it take for your uh, system to shut down. We think that with the 5020 you don't have to wait for too long, but with the uh, Brocade 8000 because it consumes so little power, you may be uh, waiting for a very long time before any changes you will see in your environment.